Tragic. You think I didn't have other things I wanted to do with my life? You think I didn't have ambitions of my own? Oh, come on, you love string. I didn't love string. Well, you could have fooled me. You and Pop were always huddled together, running some piece of something through your fingers. It didn't matter what I did. I didn't even exist. Oh my God, Julian. That's about 100 feet fucking high, you dumbass. That high? What, you want to blow it up with gasoline? We got to blow it up with something, boys. We're going to fucking cops get back. Fucking, I would have built an IED or something. But I can't take that fucking thing down with a gallon of gas. It's not boys. that big. Ricky, it's fucking 100 feet tall. I'm not going to fucking jail, Julian. Fuck that. Ricky, you could have told this tubey thing was a hundred foot fucking silo. I'm not good at heights or measurements. Fuck off. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made. Honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Sarcasm and a room full of you cunts. I know that's a metaphor, but you just gave me some imagery that's real fucking disturbing. How them old dudes? Oh, y'all one big happy family? How they decide which one gonna fuck you first? I made him my special rack of lamb for his 70th birthday. Oh, no. Yes, you remember. Oh, I slaved over that meal, making sure everything was perfect. Did he say thanks, Ernie? It was delicious? No. He only noticed the string I had tied it with. He was crazy. But I still wanted his approval. I didn't leave, Lars. I was cast out. There you go again. Blaming everything else but yourself. You think you're a success. Now, nigga, don't hate me because your kids love me more than they love you. Maybe if you quit being so uptight and let Uncle Lamar give him some game, you'll have some yeah, harmony. Hey, leave Frank her alone. Oh, you were your single daddy or something? Uh, that makes sense. Why don't you take a moment while you're sitting on that big fat pile of cash to chill the fuck out? and realize what's done is done. I don't even want to get an old funky ass cum bucket, cause you's a You don't understand FBI nothing! Easy. Hey, 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 hey! God, for a couple of Midwest stick-up artists, you guys sure have become a pair of whiny West Coast douchebags! I kill you! Ah, 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 get her crazy! Oh, no, what the oh, hell? Man, oh, I'm gonna stop off! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Ow, 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 ow. God, you don't know when to quit, do you? Look at me! I'm a shell of a man because of you, Art. <laughs> you leave! Now, now, now! Soldier! You leave him alone! Get off that case already! Did he 
didn't do anything to us. They didn't do anything to us. All right, so they're different. So they keep to themselves. Can you blame them? They live next door to people who break into their house and burn it down while they're gone for the day. Remember what you were saying about people in the burbs, Art? People like Skip. People who mow their lawn for the 800th time and then snap. Well, that's us. It's not them. That's us. We're the ones who are vaulting over the fences and peeking in through people's windows. We're the ones who are throwing garbage in the street and lighting fires. We're the ones who are acting suspicious and paranoid. Eyes. We're the lunatics. Us. It's not them. It's us. Who did this? A madman, Your Honor! A desperate fool at the end of his pitiful rope! What did he look like? About 6'2", 180 pounds, big teeth, kind of gangly. Bailiff, have the deputy search the building. Yes, sir! It's fine. Everything is fine. There's an infinite number of realities, Morty. And in a few dozen of those, I got lucky and turned everything back to normal. I just had to find one of those realities in which we also happen to both die around this time. Now we can just slip into the place of our dead selves in this reality, and everything will be fine. We're not skipping a beat, Morty. Now help me with these bodies. This is insane. Look, Morty, I'll grab myself. You grab yourself, okay? I mean, that, that, that seems fair to me. I mean, that seems like a fair way to divvy it up. Rick! What about the reality we left behind? What about the reality where Hitler cured cancer, Morty? The answer is don't think about it. It's not like we can do this every week anyways. We get three or four more of these tops. Now pick up your dead self and come on. Haste makes waste. I, I, I don't suppose you've considered this detail, but obviously, if I hadn't screwed up as much as I did, we'd be these guys right now. So, again, you're welcome. <laughs>